In this video, we're going to talk about how to sort and filter data in Excel. So let's go ahead and begin. So let's start with sorting letters. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to write a few names. So give me a minute uh, to do just that. So let's say we have John, Sarah, Megan, Kelly, let's say Christine, Jared, Lucy, Arnold, Tim, and let's say Jackie. Now, let's say if you want to sort these names in alphabetical order. A simple way in which you could do that is you can basically highlight that column and then right click, go to sorts, and sort from A to Z. And so as you can see, it's the names are sorted in alphabetical order. Or you can click undo and then right click sort you can sort it from uh, Z to A so now it's in uh, descending order and so that's how you can sort uh, words and letters using uh, Excel now you can also sort numbers so let's say we have the numbers 14 25 7 86 34 63 5 29 96 and 71. So let's highlight these numbers, right click, go to sort, and then you could sort it from smallest to largest. Also, something you could do is click data, and then you could also choose to sort um, in this area too. So if you click data, and then you can see this little button here, A to Z, you can sort it in ascendant order. So that's another way in which you can uh, sort data using this. Now let's say if we have a group of numbers that is listed out horizontally as opposed to vertically. And so here we have, let's put a number here, about eight numbers that we wish to, let's say, sort it in an in increasing order. So if we right click it and then click sort, smallest to largest, and nothing happens. If we go to data and then hit this button, nothing happens. So how can we sort it horizontally instead of vertically? In this case, what you want to do is go to data and then click this button sort and then smallest to largest, but notice that you have this column option. You don't want to sort by the column, you want to sort by the row. So what you do is you click options, sort left to right, and then highlight row two because row two is what we're selecting. And now it's going to sort in increase in order. So that's how you can sort a data horizontally as opposed to in a vertical direction. Now there's something else that we need to talk about. So notice that here we had a column of data with the next column adjacent to it being empty. And so if you want to sort it, notice that you can easily uh, do so. If you want to go from A to Z or Z to A. But notice what happens if you have another column of data right next to it. So let's say if this is the first name of the individual, and here we have the last name right next to each other. And let's just write in a few names. So let's say this is going to be John Smith. Let's say Lucy James. And then we have Karen Johnson. Next, uh, Rochelle Larson. And then Greg Williams. Let's say Mark... Anderson and Ricky Clark and let's say uh, Julie or Juliet Thompson and let's say Carla Gonzalez now notice what happens if we try to sort it in this case 
So let's sort it from A to Z. So we get this uh, sort warning box and it tells us what do you want to do? Do you want to expand the selection or continue with the current selection? Now, if we click continue with the current selection, the names will be messed up. In the first column, we're going to alphabetize uh, the first letters. So we're going to put these names in, alph excuse me, in alphabetical order. But the last names, um, uh, this second column will not change. And so the names will be jumbled up. So instead of having John Smith, notice that here we have John James. So the first column is now in alphabetical order, but the names are basically in a mismatch, which isn't good. So let's undo that. So now let's say if we highlight this uh, column and then right click, go to sort A to Z. This time, what you want to do is expand the selection. And so it's going to alphabetize the first column, but the names still match up. So we still have the same person, John Smith, Greg Williams, Mark Anderson, and things like that. Now granted, you could have just, uh, let's see if we can do this. If we can just sort both of these at the same time. And notice what happened. So you can also sort both columns at the same time. And notice that the first column is placed in alphabetical order since we uh, highlighted the first cell A2. Here we have a new set of data. We have the type of fruit and the number on the right side. So now we're going to talk about how we can filter this data. Because notice that we have the word apple uh, listed multiple times in this list. Now let's say if we want to filter out everything except the word apple. So we can highlight this column and then right click, filter, filter by selected cells value. And so notice that only the apple part shows up. We can click this button, but you probably can't see everything here. So what I'm going to do is let's insert a new cell. And let's do this again. If I click uh, filter, notice that I only have one word for fruit. But I'm going to just highlight everything starting from apple and then filter. Notice that only the apple part shows up. Or if I just highlight orange, filter by selected cells value, it's only going to show all the oranges uh, in this range. And I forgot to put a number here, so let's put 73. So that's how you can filter out basically a word in the list. Just click the cell filter and then you can just have just that name show up. Now you can also filter the number as well but let's do this. So what we're gonna do is turn this into a table insert table. My table has headers click OK and then once you have a table notice that you can automatically filter whatever you want. So let's say if I want to show just the apples I can do that. If I want to show apples and grapes, I can do that as well. So let's say I want to include mangoes and oranges. Now I can also filter by the number. So let's say if I only want to see the values between 30 and 50. So let's deselect the select all option, go to number filters, and then there's different ways in which you can filter the number, but I'm going to go to between. And let's say I want to go between 20 and 50 click OK. So notice that I'm only showing the fruits that I have selected and notice that um, it's only showing the ones where the value is between 20 and 50. And so that's a simple way in which you can uh, filter out uh, basically a data set. It's by converting it into a table and then just selecting whatever you want in this list. So let's go back to number filters. Now let's just choose greater than. So let's say I only want to see anything that's greater than 30. And so as you can see, my table has been adjusted. There are no numbers less than 30. Likewise, I can choose something else. I could choose less than, let's say, less than 50. 
and so now I have uh, numbers that are all less than 50 here and so now you know how to filter data by uh, the type that's in a column or by the number as well and you can also filter by other means as well let's say if I can go back to my original list let's put a date to it let's say this is February 5th 2014 March 8, 2015, April 2nd, 2016, let's say January 5th, 2012, June 8th, 2017, August 3rd, 2010. And let me just quickly fill in this list. If you want to, you can fast forward uh, this part. I'll be finished uh, very shortly. I may have to expand this a little. And I'm almost done. And let's say November 16, 2018. Okay, this one seems different. So let's go to... I want to make sure that everything is with the right format. I'm going to click Date. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back into a table and this time I can basically have a date filter now instead of a number filter. So let's deselect everything and then I want the date to be between let's say February 1st 2013 and let's say May 1st 2017. And as you can see all the items have been filtered by their dates and then you could filter it further so let's say we only want to see apples and mangoes and then you could filter it even further let's say we only want to see numbers between 30 and 50 and so you could filter every column um, one at a time and so that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to sort and filter data. If you want to find more of my Excel video tutorials, feel free to check out the description section of this video. Thanks for watching.